This is a message I received from a colleague in Gaza. Many of our colleagues, especially in the last few weeks, especially after the threat of attack on Rafa, have been sharing that they don't feel like they belong to humanity anymore. They keep reminding us that all of them, whether they are doctors, uh, patients, anybody living in Gaza right now, have the same needs. It's been five months of non-sleep, of looking for their basic needs, like having no access to water or food, having sometimes no place to even call home, no shelter, no, no place to sleep. They feel like they are under constant threat. They live in constant fear, ongoing stress, uh, anxiety. They all suffer from insomnia. And then they still come to work in the morning or stay in the hospital to work at night. This is what you're supposed to do. Uh, you're supposed to save lives. <laughs> you're supposed to protect from death. And yet, you can't really do it. The conditions under which medical staff uh, are working at the moment are beyond human. What they are currently facing, it's not only one horrific moment, it's multiple. It's ongoing. It's constantly acute. I think is for them very much unprecedented. Doctors are trained to, and medical staff in general are trained to see blood, to see things that are hard, that would be hard to see for, for most people. But what they've been seeing is extremely distressing and disturbing for any human being who would see it. They've been seeing people coming, missing one or many limbs, dismembered children and, and women and men in acute, extreme pain. In the beginning, we had no more supplies. And so some, some amputation were done without any painkillers or sedation, which is beyond imaginable. This will create anxiety or nightmares or, you know, memories that they won't be able to, to forget. Some doctors, some medical staff, receive their own people, their own family or extended family. And having to witness that and treat your own people adds another uh, layer of, of something potentially very, very traumatic. Many of them have lost multiple members of their family, friends, people they knew places, memories. When you're surrounded and when you're experiencing that amount of trauma, to have some sense of agency or to feel like there is somewhere where you can actually act and be in action can be somewhat protective. And going to work is for most medical professionals a duty, but it's giving them some sense of purpose. As a medical professional, you're trained with that sense of tremendous responsibility towards other human beings. And so they live with that constant feeling of having to care for others. They are trying to save lives and they fear for their own lives at the exact same time. Some of them have been working in hospitals that were bombed or attacked many times because of the bombardments or because of the insecurity. They've had to leave patients behind. And many of them have shared a feeling of guilt for not being able to do more. We've been hearing medical staff in Gaza are heroes, and I think they, they surely are for what they, they are doing. And yet it's not a choice. They are all in survival. What else can they do? And so I think that they have absolutely no time to process what is happening to them. Survival is not a choice. Survival is not coping.